everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video. I hope you guys are having a marvelous Monday thus far. And so we're going to be talking about Bilal, that tropical cyclone over in the Indian Ocean. And it is, it is impacting the island of the islands of La Reunion as well as Mauritius right now uh, as I speak. And currently it is in the afternoon there. It's Monday afternoon for those islands. But the cyclone has been bringing its impact. It's been resulting in flooding. And so unlike the forecast, uh, which I shared with you, as if you saw yesterday's update the cyclone actually made landfall in la reunion so it didn't pass south of the island but it made landfall meaning that the low pressure center moved on shore of the island so we're going to be taking a look at the latest i uh, will be looking at some footage out of la reunion to see the kind of impacts which are unfolding there as well so let's get straight to it uh, this is the satellite imagery and right now uh Bilal is shared so a lot of the impacts lie to the east of its center which has been moving past La Reunion and that is Mauritius over there now in some of these areas of these darker shadings of uh burgundy going to those grays and even those purples that is uh typically where the highest clouds are found and with that uh, they can contain a lot of precipitation so a lot of rainfall and it is evident that there has been a lot of flooding as as a result of Bilal in La Reunion. Here we can see the uh, this video showing all these vehicles stranded as those floodwaters rush through the streets and even this other video which is showing the winds of the cyclone uh, impacting the island. The good news, Bilal will be out soon and very soon and Bilal is the first threat of its kind since 1989. So that's been a very, very long time since the island has experienced uh, such conditions from a tropical cyclone. So uh, I really hope that everyone is doing okay there. And of course, I'll keep you guys posted on what is happening. But on to the western side of the world now. So we're heading to the North Atlantic. And here we can see that there is still that frontal system, very weak frontal system, I should add, that is uh, stretching across the Gulf of Mexico, near Florida, out into the Atlantic, and that other area of low pressure out there as well. So overall, there isn't anything crazy happening. A couple of cloud patches is always moving through the Caribbean, helping to induce some showers. And as I speak, let's go on to that rainfall forecast for today. It is from Euro and we can see some periods of additional substantial rainfall are possible in portions of Florida and uh, even across sections of the Caribbean there could be some passing showers at times especially down in Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, there may be some heavier rainfall within these areas at times it is possible but not a guarantee and uh, even with that it is unlikely that the rainfall event will be widespread. Near the ABC Islands as well, there could be some showers. As we head through the Lesser Antilles, we're seeing all these green shadings going toward Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, parts of Hispaniola, Jamaica, even near the Cayman Islands and uh, portions of Central America as well. So some showers are going to be possible as we head through today. But for other areas, it's likely to be quite dry. For example, for much of Cuba, uh, much of Guatemala, parts of western Honduras going toward El Salvador, western Nicaragua, and even portions of Mexico. As we head down to northern South America, the intertropical convergence zone, that is helping to boost rainfall activity, especially those thunderstorms in the afternoon for parts of the Guyanas uh, going toward Venezuela and even some spots in Colombia. So that's going to be the pattern. That chance of heavy rainfall is definitely there. And uh, with a lot of heavy rainfall, that can trigger flooding. So please be mindful of that. Winds are picking up across the region. And here we're looking at the forecast from Euro. This is for later today. And we can see these a lot of these darker purple shadings for parts of the Turks and Caicos Islands, Bahamas, and even some blue shadings popping up as well. So some of these winds going up to 20 knots may be a little bit stronger than that across the Leeward Islands as well as the Virgin Islands, even near the ABC Islands and just to the south of Haiti. We can see that area of those stronger winds even up to 30 knots uh, just offshore of Colombia as we can see. So winds are definitely picking up across the 
the Caribbean islands, for Jamaica, the Cayman Islands as well. And with that, those seas are a bit rougher as well for the aforementioned areas. South of the tip of the Tiburon Peninsula of Haiti, right there offshore of Colombia, even headed toward the Virgin Islands and the Lesser Antilles, you can see some of those green shadings as well. So up to around six, seven feet within those areas, maybe even eight feet uh, within other spots. Elsewhere, we're seeing these blue shadings anywhere from around one foot going uh, up to around three or four feet. And so guys, that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this update video. Uh, again, uh, Bilal is impacting Laura Union and Mauritius. My thoughts and prayers are with the people there. And I really hope that everyone is safe right now amid all of the flooding that we have been seeing. So I'll keep you posted on anything important that comes out of the island over the next couple of days. And that is pretty much it for right now. So I hope you found this video to be quite informative. But if you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weatherwise.